Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can dump your black and gray tanks while your rig is still sitting in your driveway using an RV macerator pump. Essentially, this is a pump that has these internal blades that grind up all the waste from your holding tanks and then pumps it out through a hose to wherever you need it to go. You would use one of these if you don't have access to a dump station. Perhaps you're out boondocking or set up for a long stay at a park that doesn't have sewer. Or if you finish up a trip and never had the opportunity to empty your tanks. You can use a macerator pump to empty into a portable sewage tote, a residential septic tank, or in my case, directly into a toilet inside your house. Yeah, at first it seemed kind of gross, but then really it's not any worse than using a dump station. And if you do it right, it's pretty simple and mess free. We're gonna be using an RV macerator pump made by Risto. This kit comes with everything that you need, including a seven and a half foot long power cord that works off a 12 volt or a cigarette lighter system, alligator clips for hooking onto a car battery, a bag of add-on accessories, the pump itself, and an instructional manual. I'll have this product listed in the description below, and it'll also be listed in my Amazon store. Okay, let's get started. Couple things that you need besides the pump itself is a dedicated drainage hose, and it's best to get a high volume hose that is three quarters in diameter. Um, you'll wanna use a set of gloves. Uh, you need a secondary hose for the rinse port, and I use a standard garden hose since this does have a check valve. And you also need a power source. I do have an extra battery because it does come with these little power clips, uh, but it also has a 12 volt connection too. So you could actually plug it right into a nearby car. All right, let's get this uh, hooked up and I'll show you how this works. The pump itself goes right on the sewer outlet connection. Uh, and you don't need to do any modifications because you'll notice that it has the same exact connections as a standard sewer hose. Here's what it looks like all set up. Your high flow drainage hose is gonna go into this clear tube clear obviously so you can see what's going on what's coming out of it and then your garden or your rinse hose is going to go on top here and this kit is nice because this actually comes with its own quick connect that's pretty simple to use and then I have it connected to the battery just like this um, and you do have an on and off switch for the pump inside the house the hose just goes into the bottom of the toilet bowl like that and once the pump is activated, it just kind of does its thing. Uh, you don't have to worry about the bowl filling up. Uh, the water just goes right through the toilet and maintains a water level on its own. You don't even have to hold down the flush lever. It just kind of does its own thing. The hose actually doesn't even move around a lot. However, I still have somebody inside watching it while I'm outside operating the pump. I'm gonna start with the black tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the drain valve and then the pump's gonna fill up and then we're good to go to turn it on. Now it's pumping it through the hose and into the toilet. I'll show you what that looks like inside. And here is what it looks like inside the house. Um, yeah, as you can tell, it's not changing the water level at all. It's just going straight in and through the toilet. Uh, it's really barely even making any noise. Pretty simple and not a messy process. And then once you get close to being done with the black tank, then I would go ahead and open the gray and that will allow it to back flush into the black and help clean everything out. You do want to monitor this. The pump itself can operate dry for up to 30 seconds, but uh, you do risk doing harm to the motor with it overheating if you let it run dry too long. So you kind of want to keep an eye on things. Our black tank holds 30 gallons, and I filled it all the way up the other day just to see how long it would take to pump it out dry, and it took about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, during the process, you can always come in and check your um, tank sensors to see where you're at. 
when you get to the end here, you got a couple different options if you kind of want to rinse out your tank more. Uh, most modern campers now have a black tank flush. You could hook a hose up to that and let those jets do its work. Um, or you could also turn on the um, rinse valve here and that will start to put fresh water kind of back up into the tank and then it'll shoot it out the hose here. When it looks like we are empty, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the valves and then I'm gonna open up the rinse hose here. And this water from your rinse hose is gonna go into the pump because your valves are closed obviously and just gonna help rinse out the pump and then your hose. I'll let that run for three to four minutes just to give a nice flush to the hose. And then once you're done, you can go shut everything off and you're free to disconnect. Even if you uh, do spill a little water out when you disconnect, it's okay because it's now all fresh water in the system. Okay, we're all done. Let's see how we did. And we are empty. So there we go. That is how you can empty your holding tanks uh, using a macerator pump from your driveway. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.